Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th, okay? But we do know that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, right? So what do we have for a message today? King of Swords, Two of Wands reversed, Five of Swords reversed, King of Coins, Four of Cups reversed. Somebody's taking an opportunity. They're taking an opportunity they may have passed up in the past or they weren't interested in the past, and now they are very interested. I feel like whoever this person is, they probably were battling. Maybe they were battling with themselves, or they wanted to win, you know, but now they don't want to fight anymore. They, they're giving up. Somebody is giving up on something, you know, with that Five of Swords reverse. It's like, I don't want to fight. I just want to be happy. This is interested in an opportunity that they may have missed and I think they may have missed it. Maybe they missed it because of their ego. The Five of Swords is a very egotistical energy. It's somebody who wants to win at all costs, doesn't care who they hurt. But this is maybe admitting defeat or or maybe just deciding because this is a decision maker, somebody that is very logical. Somebody may just be deciding, you know what, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. I just I just want to be happy. Uh, and I think it was maybe a spur of the moment decision with the two of wands reversed. Two of wands is definitely a choice, you know, and you have to make the choice. What's it going to be? You can't have both. Obviously, you, you've got to choose. So somebody ha has probably already made the choice. I think they have made a very intelligent, wise decision. We have wisdom here. Kings are wise, mature people. You know, th there's maturity. Somebody has made a very mature uh, decision, okay, and I feel, or they're about to make a very mature decision based on integrity. There's, a, there's some sort of integrity here based on truth, based on facts. Um, doing the right thing. Somebody is doing the right thing. Um, they're being very practical. They may be accepting responsibility. Um, we have somebody here that is... Um, I feel like they've made a very intelligent decision, okay? And it does have to do with giving up a battle, giving up a fight. I'm not fighting anymore. And it feels like we have a very masculine energy here. Could be a feminine, but it feels like it's masculine. But this is taking a new opportunity that has been missed. Somebody has been uh, thinking about it. They have been thinking about it. They knew it was available, but they didn't take it. They didn't take it because they were in, maybe they were in some, they were struggling in their mind. You know, they, they had some sort of, I feel like it's ego. They, they Pride, maybe. You know, that's why they didn't take the opportunity in the past. But now, this is this could be a sudden arrival, a sudden departure, a sudden return. You know, a spur of the moment decision based on you know, reality, you know, this is somebody that is, this is like somebody that is very, very intelligent, put it that way. Now this king of coins is some, is a, well, we have a hard worker here, somebody that is in a position of authority uh, that is making a wise decision. This is a hard, loyal, uh, solid individual. Very practical. Aha, that was upright. King of Cups. King of Cups. So we have somebody here that is is uh, listening to their intuition. This is this is an intuitive decision as well. It's 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 a practical decision. It's an intelligent decision, and it is a heartfelt decision. So we have somebody here that is is making a decision for all the right reasons. Okay, um, 
this is somebody that is uh, given typically this and maybe you know this person was cold and detached in the past you notice this one comes out first I feel like we have somebody here that was cold and detached you know maybe they were using their mind over their heart because they were trying to prove a point because the five of swords is, is somebody that wants to prove a point wants to win at all cost but not anymore not anymore. This is somebody who may have uh, decided to follow their heart or follow their intuition and do something that is very practical. Do accept responsibility of some sort, you know, or well, something like that. I have so I feel like there is going to be a heartfelt offer that is made or a heartfelt gesture. Um, we have somebody here that's reacting to their feelings. Maybe they've gone through some sort of awakening. I mean, the King of Swords could could signify an awakening. It's a new perspective. Somebody has gained a new perspective. And I feel like they've gained a new perspective. Maybe they've been betrayed. You know, maybe they've been betrayed. And when you get betrayed, it really wakes you up. Somebody may have thought the grass was greener on the other side with the Two of Wands. In reverse, typically in the upright, it can signify the grass is greener on the other side. They may have received a reality check that the grass isn't greener on the other side. Somebody is now interested in an opportunity that they missed. They see it very clearly. They saw it before, but they were battling. They are battling with pride and ego. But now there's some sort of, um, if, if what I want to say is emotional centeredness. And I know that's probably not a word. This person has become emotionally stable. Emotionally stable. That's what it is. Emotionally stable. Hmm. They're mastering their emotions. Taking control of their emotions as well. There's been a delay with the two of wands reverse. Somebody has been, because they were, they were, uh, they were delaying because they were thinking about it. They were thinking, they were thinking a lot, definitely thinking a lot. That's why there was a delay. They were thinking about their future. They were thinking about the past. They were thinking about the betrayal. They were thinking about what their heart wanted. They were thinking about their financial stability. They were thinking about everything that has happened in their life. Hmm. This is somebody that is taking charge. Because when I see all these kings... In one reading, I think of the emperor. You know, the emperor is the king of all kings. It's the king of, it's all the kings in one. So I think we have somebody here that is taking on a very masculine energy. This person um, may seem rigid or they've been rigid. I feel like they've been rigid in the past. And they didn't want to show any weakness. But I feel like now this person wants to take control they want to take control of a situation that they ignored or they missed or something like that with the Four of Cups reversed. What is this Four of Cups reversed? Oh, we got two. This is taking action. This is somebody who is about to do something. Okay, this is this is somebody that is willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want. This is somebody that is very skilled, very intelligent, very um, connected, connected to source, and has gotten an awakening. This is a wake-up call. It is an awakening. This is a yes answer. This is being in charge, becoming self-aware, being focused. Definitely very intelligent. We have somebody here that is taking control for sure. This is somebody that has a lot of faith. They do have a lot of faith. And they are in a position of power. 
This is somebody that is very, very powerful and they know they are powerful. They know they have the skills to succeed. This is somebody that is very creative and intelligent and has a lot of faith because you have to have faith to do this kind of stuff. So anyway, somebody is is uh, going to do something in faith. That's what they're going to do. And, and I feel like they're going to succeed. Seven of Coins. Seven of Coins is unrealistic, dissatisfied, no growth. Somebody invested in something that didn't grow. They did. Or they planted their seed someplace where it wasn't fertile. There's some sort of relocation here, perhaps. Somebody may have left. Somebody have, may have left because they didn't get taken care of. You know, the Seven of Coins reversed is, well, Seven of Coins upright is thinking about leaving. Somebody may be leaving. They may be leaving. They may be actually going someplace. Or they already have. I mean, the Seven of Coins, that's no longer investing. It's, it is. It's, it's, it's packing up and leaving. It's going someplace else. There's nothing. There's no reason to stay in this situation. There's no reason to even. It's over. It's time. It's, obviously, it's time. It's time to harvest, right? It's here. I think it's already over here. It's already over. Must take action right now to bring success. I think there was somebody, this is short-lived success. Somebody got themselves into a situation where, you know, it was short-lived. But I think it's, a, it's come to an end. Or it's coming to an end. It's time to go someplace else. So I do believe that somebody is going to be taking action to invest in new ground. Right? It's time to go someplace else. And I do think that somebody is about to take action and do that. And I feel like they've been uh, having a hard time walking away. And maybe it's because of pride, ego. I do think it's because of pride and ego. Somebody was really, really struggling. Struggling with having to walk away from something. Maybe it was struggling with swallowing pride. I don't know. But I do believe that we have a very skilled individual here, very intelligent, that is taking a new opportunity. They are taking an opportunity that they passed up in the past. They are taking the opportunity. What they did was they made a poor choice and they invested in something that wasn't fertile, right? They invested in, some, in, in, in something that... Uh, didn't bring them what they thought it was going to bring them. No matter how much they took care of it or watered it or nurtured it, it just wasn't meant to be. The ground, it wasn't fertile, you know? Anyway, so we have a very cunning, clever individual here that is about to take action in a certain manner. This person, is their intuition is guiding them. They are going to be following their heart. They're, they are, I don't know if they are relocating or they're planning something. The King of, King of Pentacles is a planner. This is somebody that follows their heart. So we may have somebody here that is planning something. You know, they're planning, uh, it could be a departure. They could be planning to leave a partnership that's not growing. This is leaving a partnership that's not growing. So if something is, and, and, and this could be any kind of partnership. It could be a work partnership, could be a relationship, whatever it is. Somebody, I feel like somebody is about to do something um, very, very practical. And you know why? It's because... They are emotionally stable and they know their value. I mean, the king of coins is the king of value. This is somebody that is going to be holding on to their value. This person knows their value. So whether it's a male or a female, we have somebody here that is relocating because they know their value. And it's the right thing to do. So I do believe that somebody has gained a new perspective and they're going to be taking action. And the, what the magician does, the magician is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. And here we go. That's exactly what this is. So we have somebody here that is definitely willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. And they know that wherever they're at, there is nothing going to happen here. There is no growth here. This is a dead end. 
So I, and I feel like this is a pretty, even though this person has been thinking about it a lot, it's evident this person has thought about it. This person now knows what they want because the King of Swords is somebody that has made their decision. They know what they want and, and, and this is like, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm, I am. I know exactly what I want. I didn't take that opportunity for some reason. Now I'm going for it. So somebody is going to go after an opportunity that they passed up and and maybe they were waiting for somebody to leave with the five of swords. You know, that's like, this person's never going to leave or I can't leave or whatever. Or they didn't want to deal with confrontation, you know, because the five of swords is a card of confrontation. Um, but I do feel like we have somebody that is about to uh, follow their intuition and they're going to go down a path. They're going to choose another option that they passed up. Okay, they pass this option up. They're going to choose that option now. Okay, the answer is yes. This is what I want. Yes. So there is a yes answer with the magician card. That is a yes. I'm interested. You know, because this is interested. With the four of cups reverse, somebody is now interested and they weren't. They weren't. And maybe there was a, some sort of hostilities here with the Five of Swords. There could even be fear of change, fear of conflict, fear of losing, you know. You know, sometimes people don't, fear of rejection, you know. Um, the Two of Wands reverse represents fear, okay. And that Five of Swords is, I want to win, I don't, I don't want to lose. We have somebody here that's like, you know what, I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to be happy. I don't do anything that I have to do to be happy. And if that means walking away from a battle, walking away from a fight, then that's what I got to do. So somebody is probably walking away from a fight. They're doing the most practical thing. Okay. This is very, it's, it is. It's interesting. Uh, it's better to be happy and free and at peace than to fight. So anyway, I do believe that, uh, you know, the magician is a card of opportunity. We have somebody here that has all the resources that they need to be successful. All they have to do is be aware that they have the resources to be successful and take action in regards to what their heart wants. And I say what their heart wants because the King of Cups is underneath that magician. Somebody's going to be following their heart away from a situation that is hostile into something more solid, stable, and practical. The decision is made as far as I'm concerned. Good luck.